Listen, guys, let's not overthink tomorrow, okay? There's so much fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It's repulsive. It makes me want to throw up. If you're watching CNBC, do yourself a favor and smash your TV on the ground because you're just, you might as well. I mean, don't, it's the, it's the propaganda ministry. It is the propaganda ministry. It is there to deceive, manipulate, it turned your attention to this way. That's all it is, okay? It's deception of the highest possible order. It, that's all. <laughs> so listen, let's get to the point. We got a big day coming up. We got the FOMC, FOMC meeting coming up this Wednesday. Usually I like to make the videos on Tuesday, but I am going to see Coldplay tomorrow in Tampa. And it's going to be fucking awesome. So uh, I'm going to do the, uh, the, 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 the shit today. So listen. I've been accurate, 100% accuracy on my calls for the Fed. That's why my opinion matters, okay? That's why you're watching this video, I imagine, because I'm not just some schmuck who just come out of the woodwork and is just predicting FOMC meetings. Now, we have a significant one tomorrow, that probably the most important one um, in, 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 in many years, um, because the last one I thought was gonna really um, kind of ease the tensions and it's 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 not it actually created more uncertainty and the media spinned it up and 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 the just asset prices are collapsing and jumping off of a cliff and you know these assets are designed to go higher okay it's in every single human being on the planet's interest essentially for assets to go higher maybe not every single one of them but majority of them um so at least for the people that are pulling the strings so anyway so that being said, listen, SPY 550 is not going to happen this year. We may have some pressure this whole year or maybe flat. But um, I actually, 2023, this in the next year or two, it could be, uh, could be rough. So, but what I do think is that we're not going to just continually sell. I do think that we're going to get a 50 basis point rate hike on Wednesday. And that'll actually create a nice little uh, uh, rally in equities. And I think in every asset class, to be honest with you, um, because it's such a major fear event. You know, I wouldn't even be surprised if we saw 450 again on SPY within um, a month. That's, <laughs> that's a stretch. That's a big stretch. But um, this market is so manipulated. It's, it's following the economy. That surprised me. That, that it's actually, the stock market is following what is actually happening. Uh, we're going to get a 50 basis point hike, and this is going to let risk drop off a little bit, and we're going to get a rally. Um, it, it's probably going to be short-lived because um, unless we get some good inflation numbers, which I don't see <laughs> because the Fed's not doing anything. The Fed, okay, also a very important thing I want to mention. What the Fed should do and what the Fed will do are two totally, completely different things. You have to separate that. But the Fed will literally tell you what they'll do before they do it. They move. This group is very, very deliberate and slow. Powell does not do anything sudden. He does not want to shock the markets. The guy is an attorney. He's not an economist. If he was an economist, he would have raised rates months ago, six months ago. Um, six months ago. Tw try a year ago, he should have been raising rates. That's what I literally, June, July of last year, I was saying the Federal Reserve should raise rates. And I began watching every video I could on Powell, every live video I could to see what the Fed was doing because I actually at the time thought the Fed was going to raise rates which were going to surprise the market and then crash the market. That was my big thing was I was going to be the guy that calls the Fed raising rates and it's going to surprise and shock them, which it would have. So you know, they're smart they didn't do that because I, I, I was right though. I said for them to raise rates which would have been the best thing for the economy but they didn't do that because it would have collapsed stock prices, but the economy have been good. But guess what? We don't care about the economy inflation for the common person. They care about asset prices because that affects the rich. That's more important. That's what the Fed cares about. So you have to understand the mechanism in play. So we're going to get a 50 basis point rate hike. It's going to let the VIX drop another minus 10% day on the VIX within, you know, that day or two. We're going to see double digits drop 
from the VIX percentage wise. And we're gonna see a rally with uh, with SPY. It's definitely gonna be over 400. I could easily predict 400 within you know the next you know week or two. A SPY over 400, that's an easy prediction I can make. Um, the long-term trajectory, it's choppy and I'm just buying. You should always be buying, 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 buying. And just, you know, I'm 29 years old, so buying is an interest to me right now. If you're 59, that's a totally different story. Um, so, you know, this channel is really kind of geared towards kind of people in, in, in this, you know, even if you're 50, you have more of a, can, uh, can relate more than if you're 60. If you're 60, you, you, the time has come and passed. You should have already cashed out your shit at all time highs. And if you didn't, you're a fucking idiot. Sorry. But in any event, uh, yeah. So, um, let's just watch what happens Wednesday and it's not going to be a 75 basis point hike bitch slap every single person who says that because they're wrong i actually saw it's it's impossible no it's not happening it's not happening it's not happening the core cpi data was barely it, 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 no it didn't scream emergency seven no no the fed is not going to do that impossible so we're going to get the 50 basis point hike i guarantee fucking t it i guarantee it i'm better than all of you fucking economists at goldman sachs whatever check the videos i did I'm going to be right and you're going to be wrong again. So stay frosty, everyone. It's fucked up out there.